Hey guys, it's Eclectic Sims, and today I have another build for you guys. Um, today we're building in Send My Shuno, and if I'm not mistaken, we're at the 19 Clipper House. I think that's what it's called. I'm not looking at the screen. This is, I made this voiceover later on <laughs> after I've already done the video, so I do not remember the name of it. But I think that's what it's called. But we're in Send My Shuno, um, so. I decided I wanted to do an apartment today. I had just got done doing that big house from the previous um, video. And I meant to do the one that I told you guys about for my celebrity sim. But I'm gonna be honest with y'all, I did not feel like decorating that one. And I'm not completely sure uh, how I'm gonna go about decorating that one just because I don't want it to break again. Um, I kind of told you guys in the last video that like I'll, I decorated that house the first time and then we got an update and then after the update I tried to go back in the house and I couldn't because the lot wasn't loading so I could get in build mode but I can't you know play in the house with the sim and so that's when I was I tried to fix it to see what room it was usually it means it's a piece of clutter that broke during the update and so now I can't get in the lot. That's usually what it is. So I went through the whole process of trying to figure out what room it was by deleting rooms and shit and that didn't work. So I ended up just wiping the house and then redecorating it similar to what it was the first time. I had another update months later and did the same thing. So now it's another piece of the color that's broken. Wipes it again, did it again. So it just the process kept happening over and over again, and then I kind of just got tired of it. So I haven't played in that household in months. Um, and then I decided that I wanted to kind of not necessarily redo my save, but kind of just update and refresh everything because, like, a lot of the builds in the save, this save is really old. I think I told you guys that the last time too. This save is really old. I did this 2022. I made this save back in 2019. I think. Yeah. In 2019. It's between 2018 and 2019. I'm pretty sure it's 2019 though. That's how long I've had this save. So, <laughs> uh, a lot of the builds that I made for these sims are, are pretty old. And I got tired of my, I got tired of the lots looking a certain way and I kind of wanted everything to be, um, I don't want to say match, but I just wanted them to be like, what's the word I'm looking for? I don't know. I just wanted them to be, um, I don't know if I should use synonymous to each other. I don't know. I just, it was like match, but it didn't have to match completely, it was something like that. I just wanted it to look like it went together, right? And so that's how I've been doing the houses over. And um, I was like, well, I build, I want to say probably 60% of the time, 60-70% of the time. So let me just record these as videos then. Um, I did try to start a save where... I kind of build everything in the save so I wanted to make my own kind of save and then put it out for people to use. That wasn't really working because I use CC and I'm like well maybe I should do a Max's version of this instead of a CC version so I'll just use the CC version for myself. And then I got my new computer that didn't work out so well because that save got either, either I threw it away on accident or I deleted it on accident or me moving everything from one computer to the next computer. I deleted the files or something like that, so that save was gone. So I just came back to the one I'm at now. Um, so that's what this whole thing of me building is kind of right now, where all these videos are coming from. It's coming from this one save, which is the PTC save. Um, and that's what I've been kind of just going off of. And um, that house... Oh, I don't know. Maybe I'll decorate it tomorrow. I want a whole rant just now, but I will see if I'll decorate it tomorrow if I'm up to it. Um, <clears throat> I think I told you guys in the last video as well. Uh, decorating takes a lot out of me. It's not necessarily the building because I could build a show 
all day. It doesn't matter. I could do that. That's not a problem. It's the decorating that takes a lot out of me. I put a lot of thought, or at least I try to, into decorating. I want it to be as realistic as possible. And it, after I'm done decorating one house, I'm over it. <laughs> Even when it comes to like one story decorating one story of the house, I'm done. But I have to get these videos out, so I have to keep doing it. I um, feel like I'm getting better. Uh, apartments are kind of like breaks for me, where I, like I'm doing something, but it's not such a big lot like a house or anything. So it's a little bit easier for me to do. Um, this apartment you guys see on the screen here was a lot. It was a lot of fun for me to do. I've been meaning to do this apartment for a while now. I had moved some Sims in here. These Sims, uh, like many of the other Sims in the save, are pretty old. Um, they've been in the save since I made the save, I think. And I just never got to this apartment. They were in a house in Oasis Springs originally, and then I moved them around. I moved everybody around. I moved them here. This um, apartment used to actually be for um, the college Sims. When I first got Sims for university, I had about three or four sims in this um apartment and it looked completely different i forgot to actually record me like um doing the layout uh when i had first did it i forgot to record and i was like oh shit let me record me decorating before I, you know i'm gonna have to find something else to do uh, to get another video so i had other sims in here and i didn't like that it was barely decorated at all I moved them out and actually put them in the um, Sims for University world, Brightchester, and then I moved the current Sims here. So it's just um, two adult Sims and their baby. Um, I plan on doing an LP, but I really don't know how to do that without like, you know, being everywhere. Cause I don't know if y'all noticed, or you know, maybe I haven't done it enough for y'all to notice, but. I like talking about my sims. I put a lot of thought into their stories and things like that, which is why I put so much into their house and stuff. And I don't know, I've noticed I like really talk, I like talking about them and their backstories. I can't fully convey it in like a story. They have stories, but I can't convey it that way because I get excited. Like, I want you to see this sim, I want you to see this sim, I want you to see this sim. And I'm like, I can't do that because then people get confused. So I have to find or like write a script or something in order to be able to show all the Sims and everything. So uh, when I get that together and I feel a little bit more comfortable talking uh, to myself, I eventually I'll do an LP for you guys and kind of show you guys the entire save instead of just the build I'm doing. Um, a lot has, a lot, I, I can't talk. I have switched up a lot in the save. Um, I finally got, uh, where, where is my shoe now? I finally got Willow Creek to look the way I would like it to look. Now there are a few builds that I put in there from the gallery that I use as rental properties. They don't necessarily match the houses that I built in the same neighborhood. So I don't know if I want to switch those out or if I want to keep those there. I don't know. I'll see about that. Um, New Crest is coming together. I think I have like three more lots to build in New Crest. I don't necessarily know if I'm going to worry about those right now though. Um, there has been a couple of sims, not even a couple, there's been a handful of sims. I've deleted out of the save just because I felt like they were taking up space. I always feel like there's not enough space in this game. We have so many worlds and I have a majority of them and I still feel like there's not enough like lots to put all my sims on so sometimes I feel like I need to start a new save and move some sims to a new save instead and just start a whole another thing. But um, eventually I'll be able to show you guys everything and be able to, you know, Tell you guys the story the way I want to in a way where it's not like it doesn't come off as like unorganized um, 
but yeah and then another thing i want to talk to you guys about was me losing motivation so i want to say these past two weeks i lost a lot of motivation since um, the last couple times i've uploaded the short that i did the 50 i think it's like 52 seconds I did it was kind of just an experiment um i'm still trying to figure out or like get an idea of what i want to do for shorts exactly i don't know if i want them to be build related but if they are build related it would probably be like a, a preview or like a sneak peek to a build tour i don't know that's what i'm thinking i'm not really sure yet so i don't really know what i want to do for shorts um i don't I'm not gonna say i don't like doing cast videos i like doing cast videos I don't like doing those all the time either. Uh, it's like decorating. Making a sim is the fun part, but then when it comes to dressing them up, and I try to dress up all their categories so I don't have to deal with it and give them multiple outfits, I don't be wanting to do that. <laughs> that can take a lot out of me too, because once I do like one or two, over it. Over it, over it, over it. Over it. <laughs> That's why a lot of my sims in my game be looking a hot mess now. Uh, I'd be, be over it sitting there for two three hours working on one thing i'd be ready to do something else um but mm, i lost motivation this past two weeks so that's why there wasn't really any any videos up um that, i'm so happy though that i got my motivation back so i'm trying to make as many videos as i can while i have it because i'm eventually going to crash again and i'm not gonna want to do or i'm not gonna want to make videos for the moment so i'm trying to get as many out for y'all as i can um these videos do take me a few days i more so enjoy the editing portion of making videos rather than actually making them but overall i'm actually having fun i'm kind of glad i got the break or gave myself the break when i was losing motivation because i don't feel like my videos would have came out as good um so yeah, I think that's it, but just to let you guys know, whenever I do not upload for like a week or so, it's just because I'm not in the headspace to create, you know, and I don't want to get up, I don't want to get burnt out to the point where I don't come back for like months at a time, because that happens with, to me with um, like making custom content. I make CC just in case you guys um, don't know. Uh, support me on patreon the link is in the description but uh, making content on patreon is kind of hard for me too because i'll lose motivation and i'll try to keep doing it even though i'm out of inspiration to make stuff and then i get like really really burnt out and then i won't make anything for months and so i don't want that to happen with youtube so i'm kind of just like if i don't do one thing you gotta work on the other thing if you're tired of that thing <laughs> do the other thing so I'm trying to keep up with everything. I'm not a huge, huge social media person. Yes, I'm on social media, but that's just to look at stuff. I get inspired by a lot of stuff. A lot of things I see I get inspired by. But at the same time, I'm not great with uploading. I'm not good with making, with like doing stuff and then, oh, you know, let me, let me upload this. You know, I'm not good with that. Um, I'm not or I'm never really in that headspace <clears throat> so I'm trying though uh so yeah so that's all I wanted to tell you guys today um if you feel uninspired and unmotivated I would say just wait it out I had to wait mine out you know and I kind of focused on other things and um eventually as of recently like a few days ago I actually got my motivation but I was saying I've been in a good headspace since doing it um, I just don't know what I'm going to do the next time, um, you know, I'm not in this headspace anymore. So we'll see. I'm going to try to have some extra videos on hand. That way when I'm in that, in that space, I still have videos to put out. So again, trying to make as many as I can. Some of them may take a while because I told you guys I wanted to make long videos. And if you watch them, you watch them. If you don't, you don't. Um, maybe use them for background noise, you know, I don't know, but I wanted to make, um, a little bit longer videos, 
I don't want to break up every video into a part. Um, if it comes out too long, then I will definitely do that. But, um, yeah. So I hope you guys enjoyed the videos that have been coming out this week. I have a few more. Um, I schedule everything after I make it. So, um, they'll be out. And also, if you guys have a certain time, you know, if you guys can't catch the videos in the morning, because I usually put the videos out between 8 and 10, if you guys can't catch the videos, um, then uh, just let me know what other times you guys would prefer me to upload. Um, I could upload pretty much any time. I try to schedule everything out beforehand. So you just let me know in the comments, and please like and subscribe. Um, and uh, if you guys have any questions about the seaside use, please let me know in the comments. And I will help you as soon as possible if I know what CC it is, okay? Uh, and I'll talk to you guys in the next video. Bye, guys.
Thank you.